guys it's Conrad back with another video and today I'm gonna to be talking about how I've been learning machine learning over the past year and how you can do it too so the first thing you need to know before you start learning machine learning is what you want your outcome to be you need to know what your end goal is if your end goal is to understand all the algorithms from scratch I would take a more math based approach but if you want to build useful machine learning applications as fast as you can then I would take a more coding approach for me, I at first was focused on just building machine learning applications, but recently I've been getting more into the math and the machine learning algorithms. So once you know what your end goal is, I would gather from the best machine learning resources that you can find and start going through them. For me, this took some trial and error, but I ended up finding resources that worked best for me. I put all these resources in a GitHub repository down below in the description, and it has links to the best resources that I've found for learning machine learning. The best and most complete resources for learning machine learning are probably Andrew Ng's courses on Coursera. Uh, depending on how in depth you wanna go and if you wanna focus on either deep learning or general machine learning, uh, there are different courses for each one. So I started with Ng's classic machine learning course, which is a couple years old now, but still really helpful. And I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot of the math behind machine learning and also the schedules that Coursera gives you and the assignments help make it easier for you to stay on track. Some of his newer courses are better and much higher quality. However, they require a monthly subscription of $50 a month. If you don't wanna pay for this, however, you can just audit the course for free. So you'll get access to all the lectures and videos and that type of stuff, but you won't get access to the quizzes and assignments or um, accreditation. So if you're taking a more math focused approach, behind machine learning, I recommend 3Blue1Brown's videos and I'll have a link to his playlist on the GitHub because his animations make it really easy to understand, especially a series on neural networks, how everything works. And getting the math down is going to help you a lot later in your machine learning career. When new algorithms come out, you'll better be able to understand them, where they're coming from. And generally, people with the necessary mathematical training are going to be able to create better models because they better understand where the code is actually coming from and why it works. Now, if you want to just quickly hop on the ML hype train, I recommend learning Keras, which is part of TensorFlow. And Keras is like ridiculously easy to get started with. Literally, you just copy and paste a Google Colab notebook of a Keras model, plug in your data, and you're good to go. That's all you need. If you want to learn how to build machine learning projects, I recommend reading tutorials and blogs uh, and watching YouTube videos. The best way to learn is by doing. I got really good at Keras and TensorFlow by watching Siraj Raval videos as well as other tutorials that I found on the internet. And then I would try to replicate what those people did, the projects that they made. And I say that's probably the fastest way to learn machine learning. Now, with any other goal, when you're learning machine learning, you need to set yourself to a schedule. I recommend trying to do something every single day, even if it's small, to remind you of that goal and keep the streak going, like a Snapchat streak. So doing something like, say, watching a tutorial a day, building an application a day, or something like that, that's what I've been doing this summer, and it's helped my progression a lot versus in the school year where I had a little bit of less time. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you have any questions, please leave it down below and hopefully you guys can help each other out in learning machine learning. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.